Hi, I'm Ken with HitchSource.com. Today we're talking about the basics of RV towing. RV towing is often called flat towing or dinghy towing. Today we're going to be talking about how it works and what components you need to tow legally and safely. So what is flat towing? Flat towing is literally attaching your vehicle to the back of your RV so that your car goes where you go. A lot of times people will take their RV to a camp spot, they'll level out the, the RV, and then simply remove the, the tow bar from the vehicle, and then they have full mobility to go to town uh, or, or drive around and explore the area. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, one of the advantages of flat towing over other forms of towing is that it's easier than flat trailering or tow dollies. Uh, and then also when you're done uh, with your camping trip, there's nothing to store. Uh, the tow bar and the, and, and the other towing components are very compact and it's easy to put into the, into the garage or into the back of your car or in your RV. Here we have the basic components of a flat towing system. Starting off with the base plate. The base plate is the part that mounts to the frame of your vehicle. So this is the attachment point for the towing system. Uh, it's bolted straight to the frame members of your vehicle. Uh, it's designed specifically for your style of vehicle. So we literally have hundreds of different base plates to fit all the different tow vehicles out there. Uh, it generally fits behind the bumper fascia to make it hidden. Uh, the, the tow bar arms themselves, the tabs themselves, stick out of the front uh, and that's where the uh, connection is made. But when you're not towing, most modern base plates have a removable tab just to make it so that it's hidden when you're not using it. It comes with all the bolts that you need to do the mounting and then insulation instructions as well. The other mechanical piece of a flat towing system is the tow bar. The tow bar is the component that mounts between the, the tabs of your base plate and the RV itself. Uh, typically it slides into the hitch receiver of the RV uh, and then mounts to the base plate using these removable pins. So that's what provides the actual towing force of the vehicle. Uh, in addition to the mechanical components we just talked about that are actually doing the towing, uh, we have some safety uh, components as well. So we've got a set of safety cables that's a backup for the tow bar in case the tow bar were to fail. We also have the umbilical cord uh, that provides the electrical signal between the RV and the tow vehicle. In order to use electrical signals coming from the RV, you're going to need a bulb and socket kit or some sort of electrical wiring on your, on your tow vehicle. The bulb and socket kit is a separate electrical pathway with individual bulbs that mount inside of your existing turn signal assemblies. Uh, the other option is you can use a diode-based system. The diodes allow you to use your current uh, turn signal bulbs and use it from both the RV and the vehicle itself. Uh, another option is magnetic tow lights, and if you go to our electrical page, you can read more on all those different options. Most states now require that you have an auxiliary braking system in your towed vehicle. These laws typically kick in around 1,500 pounds, up to 3,000 pounds, so most tow vehicles are covered by these laws. The idea behind an auxiliary braking system is that it applies the brakes on the towed vehicle when you apply the brakes on the coach. It provides you extra stopping power, shortens your stopping distances, and it improves your safety margin. The other important feature of an auxiliary braking system is the breakaway system. If you were to have a catastrophic failure of your base plate or of your tow bar and your vehicle were to become disconnected, this will apply the brakes and bring it to a safe stop. Uh, another component that's important in a towing system is the tow vehicle protection system. It's a barrier that goes between the tow vehicle and the RV and it provides protection against rocks and gravel. Uh, you can imagine being just about five or ten feet behind the back wheels of your RV. It's a pretty harsh environment and for the cost of a replacement windshield you can buy one of these systems that will protect the paint, the, the chrome, and the windshield of your vehicle. As you're evaluating your system uh, you're going to want to look at your tow vehicle and figure out the towability. We recommend you look at your owner's manual and look up the flat towability uh, capabilities of that vehicle. That concludes our video on flat towing basics. If you'd like some help putting together your own system, give us a call or visit us at hitchsource.com.